Hi, welcome to this edition of Book Notes. Today I want to talk about a book that I read first back in 1986. It was an unbelievable read. It had a huge impact on me as a businessman and as a professional, and it really profoundly uh, affected how I think about business. And it's a book called The E-Myth. It's since been retitled The E-Myth Revisited when uh, Michael Gerber, the author, republished it in 1995 and then uh, again a later edition in 2001. But basically the subtitle of the book says it all. Uh, the subtitle is called uh, "What or Why Most Small Businesses Don't Work and What to Do About It. And he really talks about three things in the book. First of all, the entrepreneurial myth. Uh, secondly, the turnkey revolution. And third, the business development process. Now, when he talks about the entrepreneurial myth, and that's really what the E-myth stands for, he basically says that most business people, most small business people, you think that they're entrepreneurs, but they're really not. They're technical people who know how to keep books or they know how to do technical writing or clip a poodle or make coffee or do something, and they suddenly decide that they're smarter than the boss and they could be in business for themselves. So they have what he calls an entrepreneurial seizure, and they start a business. But the problem is that now not only are they doing the technical work that they used to do and actually used to really enjoy, but now they're doing a thousand other things besides that and it just wears them out to the point where they, they get disillusioned. And, and he talks about the fatal assumption in this section where he says that just because you understand the technical work doesn't mean you understand the business of doing the technical work. Those are two dis distinct things, two different things that you've got to understand. And so he, he distinguishes in this section between the entrepreneur who's very focused on the future and then the manager who's all about the past and keeping the records and planning and getting things organized and the technician who's all about the present. And all three of these people reside in the business owner at one time. And you've kind of got to come to terms with that because the average entrepreneur, he says, is about 10% entrepreneur, about 20% manager, and about 70% technician. And, and, and that's where the trouble begins. Then he goes into the second section of the book. It's called The Turnkey Revolution. And he says that, that from the beginning, you've got to think of the book as a turnkey system that you can hand off to mere mortals to run. It's got to rely on systems. It can't rely on geniuses because you can't afford geniuses even if you could find them. So you've got to create systems that just work. And he talks about uh, the McDonald's franchise and what happened with business format franchises like McDonald's that ensured a consistent, predictable result no matter where they were implemented. And that's why you can go almost any place in the world and eat at a McDonald's restaurant. And, you know, it may not be great food, but at least it's consistent because they've got a system that produces that result. And he talks about the fact that you've got to create your business like it's a turnkey business so that you've got an exit strategy and ultimately you can sell the business, you can retire, you can do something, but it doesn't require your personal presence. Third thing that Gerber talks about is the business development process. This really changed my whole thinking and, and, and the way I look at business today. He says you've got to approach every system every new process, everything you do in your business as though it were a prototype that you were going to replicate a thousand times. Even if you're never going to do that, you've got to approach it that way and you've got to think about it in that fresh kind of way. And so it involves things like templating, modeling, measuring, refining, orchestrating, and really creating something that gets better over time and that actually improves. Um, I, I, I really can't recommend this book too highly. I mean, I think you can sense my enthusiasm for it. I just uh, recently re-skimmed it and got the big ideas and uh, recommended it to a friend of mine. But I think it's a book that'll really make a difference for you. Whether you're in a small business or a big business, uh, it's targeted at small business people. But honestly, you've got to think of your business like Gerber talks about if you want to make a difference over time.